Namaste guys, Rajesh here from Tech and in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the top tips and tricks for the Honor View 20. These tips and tricks will help you in getting the most out of the device. So make sure to check them out. But before that, if you're coming to our channel for the first time, please do subscribe to it for more such videos. The first tip for the Honor View 20 is a relatively simple one. It's about how you can easily take screenshots. There's always a way of pressing the volume down and the power button to take a screenshot on the Honor View 20. But there's an even better way. That is a simple three finger swipe down gesture on the display. This gesture will allow you to easily take screenshots on your Honor View 20. However, it is disabled by default. So make sure to enable it by going to settings, smart assistance, motion control. Here you can see the option for three finger screenshot. Make sure to enable it. Now whenever you want to take a screenshot, simply swipe down using three fingers on your Honor View 20. This is a gesture that is quickly catching up among many Android OEMs and it's available on many other devices as well. And it's far more convenient than the volume down and power button shortcut found on almost every other Android device. There's another way to take a screenshot on the Honor View 20. Under motion control, you will see there's something called knuckle gestures. So with knuckle gestures, you can take a screenshot on your Honor View 20 using your knuckles. I'm not a big fan of this gesture. I find it to be a bit too gimmicky, but nonetheless, you might find it useful. So to take a screenshot using knuckle gesture, you need to knock twice on the screen using your knuckle. So one knuckle and a screenshot is taken. Let me do that again. Using your knuckle, tap twice on the screen. That's it, a screenshot is taken. You can take a screenshot of a particular area as well using your knuckle. For that, you just need to tap and then draw the area that you want to capture in the screenshot. So, you can see that a screenshot has now been taken of the specific area. Under motion control, you'll also find another useful tip for the Honor View 20. That is, clip to mute. This is a feature that's present on almost every other Android device and it's a very simple one as its name suggests. Once you enable flip to mute, you can simply mute incoming calls and alarms by placing the phone screen down on a flat surface. Enable this feature and then and simply put it face down to mute that alarm or call. Another useful Honor View 20 feature that you'll find under motion control is raise to ear. So if you want, you can directly make calls to someone answer incoming calls or switch to speaker on your Honor View 20 using this feature. Simply make sure to enable whatever you like. Similarly, if you're already talking on the phone and take the phone away from your ear, it will automatically switch to speaker mode. The Honor View 20 comes with a fingerprint scanner at its rear. Now that fingerprint scanner can be used for a lot of things apart from just locking and unlocking the device. You can use the fingerprint scanner to lock down applications on your View 20. For that, you have to head over to security and privacy and enable the app lock feature. We have already done a video about it, so make sure to check it out. What's even better is that you can use face unlock on your Honor View 20 to unlock locked applications. We have already done a detailed video about app lock, so make sure to check it out. You can also use it as a shutter button in the camera application, as well as to expand the notification shade. For that, head over to settings, security and privacy, fingerprint ID. Here, you will see the option show notification panel under slide 2. Make sure to enable it. Similarly, make sure to enable the option to use the fingerprint sensor as a camera shutter button as well as for using it to answer calls and stopping incoming alarms. Now, you can use the fingerprint scanner to bring up the notification shade by simply swiping down on the sensor. Similarly, in the camera app, you can quickly take a photo by keeping your finger on the fingerprint scanner. That's a very useful feature to have, particularly while you are taking selfies. Here's another camera related tip for the Honor View 20. If you record a lot of videos, you're bound to burn through that 128 GB of storage space on your View 20. So what you should do is record videos in the more efficient H.265 format. Do note that while H.265 recorded videos will take less space on your View 20, they might not play back properly on older PCs and devices. That's something for you to decide. Anyways, to enable H.265 recording on your Honor View 20, open the camera app, switch to video mode, and then head over to settings. Under resolution, 
you will see the option for format H265 and H264. Select the H265 option. And now all videos on your Honor View 20 will be recorded using the H265 codec and they will occupy notably lesser space than the H264 codec. By default, the Honor View 20 comes with a navigation bar at its bottom. However, if you want, you can switch over to navigation gestures on the device. For that, you need to head over to settings, scroll to the very bottom where you will find system, tap on it, followed by system navigation. Here you have the option to enable gestures. Once enabled, you basically need to swipe up from the same area of the bottom part of the display where the navigation buttons were located. Once enabled, make sure to go through the tutorial as it will give you an idea of how gestures work on the Honor View 20. To go back, you need to swipe from the left or right edge of the display. To go back to the home screen, you need to swipe up from the bottom of the display. To open the recent app view, you need to swipe up from the bottom of the display and hold your finger for a second and that's about it. Finally, the Honor View 20 comes with Huawei's own implementation of digital well-being called Digital Balance. You'll find this option under settings. And what this feature does, it lets you keep a tab of the amount of time you spend inside each application, the number of notifications that you receive throughout the day and more. You can use digital balance to cut down your smartphone addiction, maybe your addiction to Facebook, Instagram, PUBG or any other game or application that you use a lot. You can set up timers for individual apps or even categories of app and at the end of the day you will get a detailed analysis of the amount of time you spend inside each application. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you found it useful. If that's the case, please do subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.